What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell. In this video for you, I have my Itsuki Nakano Waifu deck profile uh, from the Quintessential Quintuplets. Uh, definitely, to me, best girl, uh, the youngest of the Quints. Uh, and I just really like that. Obviously, her color scheme is red. That's my favorite color. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons also why I like her. Amongst other things, I like that she eats a lot. That's pretty cool. Um, snacks i always feel like i always go get snacks too like when i go like i gotta go to 7-eleven and get something or whatnot uh but to be honest uh i just really like the deck um i really think the quince set really was really fun knocked it out the park you know you could build five different waifus or put them all together whatnot um the second set oh my goodness i hope that comes to english uh because she gets like a runner she gets like a few other things uh, that'd be really cool to have, but for right now, I still think this is a really fun deck to play. Um, this is the completed deck profile, I believe, in the gameplay footage that uh, I have. Uh, it's not complete. I was missing, um, like, one of the, <laughs> the gates. This is the eight gate, obviously, but I was missing one of the trial deck ones. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. Starting off first, we got the... Uh, Put in's most hateful card. She hates this card. I think it's so funny, but the when push comes to shove, Itsuki not gonna be run the four of it's 4k. It gives your opponents encore, but I mean it's 4k. It's hard to get over in the early game. And I don't think my opponents really want to be like paying two stock that early in the game just to keep level zeros around. Like there's like no point. So early game, amazing, fun card to have. Um, then later in the game, just clock it for your green when you need it later down the line. Um, then we have the quintessential quintuplets Itsuki Nakano when it's reversed and the opponent's battle levels or lo the level of your opponent that the battles is zero or lower. Then you also reverse that character. So it's just a level reverser. And um, yeah, when you put one card from your hand to the waiting room, when this card is put to the waiting room from the stage, you may pay the cost. And if you do, look up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose one level one. Or hire a card from among them, reveal it to your opponent, put it to your hand, and the rest of the waiting room. So it also helps with this other card over here. We got the brainstormer, and also kind of helps with obviously the gate. But um, when your climax with gate is triggered, then you choose one of your quintuplet characters, and it gets plus one soul inside of term. Brainstorm, and for each gate, uh, you flip four for each gate. Then yeah, choose one character in your waiting room and salvage it. Basically, add it to your hand. And we're running eight gates, so it works out. It's fine. Three of this, all five together. Itsuki Nakano. When it attacks, choose one of your characters with Itsuki, and it gains 1,500. And pay one at the beginning of the Encore step. If you don't have a rested character, then you can, you know, make this rested. So if you all your stuff gets reversed, it can come back. This is probably one of the ones I'd replace with the runner when the runner comes out. We'll see, maybe. Um, then we have this one right here. The pure and innocent Itsuki Nakano, which lets us, uh, when it's played, we look up the top two cards from the top of the deck and rearrange them. And when it attacks, if we have one or less other characters, you may put the top card of the deck into the waiting room. And if it's a level zero, then we can put it in any position on the backstage. So, you know, high luck roll. We get the Brainstormer. That'd be awesome. And then we have the one-offs right here in the level zero game. We have Awkward Personality, Itsuki Nakano. Uh, one stock, put one character or one card from your hand to the waiting room. When this card is placed on the stage, then we can pay the cost. We can choose a Quince character in the waiting room, return to hand, and give something a thousand power. And when it attacks, we can put the top card of our deck into the waiting room. And if it's a climax, draw a card, then choose a card in our hand and put it to the waiting room. So a little synergy with the pure and innocent Itsuki. We also got this one, rest it, choose one of the Quince characters, and that character gets 500 power and the following ability, basically clock shoot. And you can pay two, rest it, to choose a Quince, and, a Quince character and salvage it from the waiting room. And then this one, just the one of the worst timing, Itsuki. This is really a cool card where when it's placed on the stage, you reveal the top card if it's a Quince, then you can put in your hand, then discard one. And then you can also put a Quince card from your hand, a character, to the waiting room and to draw cards. So 
it kind of synergizes again with this pure and innocent Itsuki uh, to just kind of see what's on the top of the deck. But it also just kind of helps us melt through because other than climaxes, they're all basically quintuplets characters. For the level one, is the level one combo with the trial deck stuff with youngest of the quintuplets, Itsuki Nakano, and being obstinate. And here, when this attacks and this is on the climax area, then we look at top four cards, choose a quintuplets character from among them, put it in our hand, and the rest go to the waiting room. Just a really simple, easy, just mill through the deck, see what we can get, try to get advantages for next turn. We got Unable to be Honest, Itsuki Nakano, all of your characters with Itsuki in the card name. If all the car characters you have have Itsuki in the name, then this card gets 500 power for each of them, uh, each of your other ones. So if you have a full board, it's like 7k for just, you know, no cost. We got the Knowing the Circumstances, Itsuki Nakano. When your climax with Gate is in a trigger icon is placed in your climax area, this card gets a thousand power and the following ability. One, this card attacks and it basically has the twin drive and this card becomes reverse. If the card's battle is level one or lower, you may basically, it's all same level reverser. We got this one, the level assist, the one one, Intimate Sisters, Itsuki Nakano. All of your quints in front get X power, where X is equal to that character's level plus 500. And then when your character's trigger checks reveals in a gate with a trigger icon, with a trigger icon, choose up to two of your characters with each key in their names, and those characters get plus one soul each. And you can put these, this one right here, the quintessential quintuplets each key, to the waiting room, and rest this card and give one quint card or quint character uh, fifty five hundred power to end a turn. Obviously, they're all each key, so just whatever Itsuki we have here. We got the level two backup. That's also the level one The takes away the higher level for two and put one character. So it's two stock, one character. So you use up three stock altogether, but you only need to drop one character from the stage to get the higher level off the board. And then I'm playing this two one from the trial deck just if we have two or more other quintuplet cards it gets 2k power and usually we would like to have this in the back row and this in the back row or even the brainstormer so usually we have something we have two characters in the back to help this get to like nine five at least so yeah just fine level two attacker i guess uh you could always switch it out for another like we could take that out and then put in the the fourth um early play but I, I'm fine with having the two uh, for the level three starting off here obviously this is the finisher for the deck the in a Yukata Itsuki Nakano uh, gets 500 for each other quince card um, when it's placed heal one and then for two and one card from two stock and one card from your hand to the waiting room when the opponent becomes reversed you put two and everything's quince which they are. You look at the two cards from your opponent's waiting room, put it back in their deck, shuffle it, and then deal three damage. And of course, Blossoming Smile goes along with it. Really cute, got the little corn dog right there. So that's the main finisher of the deck. At the early play, Kind Gaze, Itsuki Nakano, just, this can help you um, hand filter, get what you need, you know, the draw. Hopefully we grab the climax to go into level three or the you know, you caught if we need to, because if you have four or more Quince characters on the board, it gets minus one level in hand. You play it, gets 1500 power if they're all Quince, so it's, it gets to that 10k, but then during your turn, it gets another 1k. And yeah, look at the top X cards, where X is the number of characters, Quince characters you have. Uh, choose one of them, and the rest go to waiting room. So really good just to get what we need. We got this right here, Awkward Atmosphere Itsuki. This just has a wall of text also, but basically we can put this card into um, from the hand to the waiting room, and then when it's placed to the stage, you can choose one Quintuplets card in the waiting room and return it back to the hand, so you can just get something back late in the game. For one, 
stock um, when this card is placed from the station in hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one climax from the waiting room and return it to the hand. So with this one card, uh, with one stock, and if you have that card in hand, we can basically get these two back. So I think that's really cool. And you can put one card from your hand to the waiting room, choose one of your quintuplets characters, and it gets 2,500 power, which probably never really use. Mostly, if we use any of the first two effects to get any of these pieces we need at the end game. This is the trial deck one right here, where um, it salvages a quince card on play and also put two cards from your hand to the waiting room, and when it attacks, just deal one damage. Sometimes that one ping, you know, can get you there. And then finally, right here, Among the Crowd, Itsuki Nakano. Um, when this card is placed on the stage, it heals. And then you choose one of your Quinn's characters and it gets X power to end of turn where X equals its um, the number of Quinn's helpless characters you have times 500. So it's okay. You, If you want to take it out, that's fine. Maybe put another second one of this or another one of these. But I kind of like, I kind of wanted to have like all the level threes of <laughs> Itsuki from this set. Um, obviously, if volume or the second set ever comes out, then it'll switch around and maybe I'll switch these out. But for right now, I like it. I like having all the different Itsukis. And like I said, you could even like take this one or that one out for the early play, uh, which, man, so much gloss. So much, um, whatchamacallit, lighting issues, whatever. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys watch the anime or if you're interested in the set. And for you, who's best girl? Put in likes Miku. I like Itsuki. Let me know who you guys like. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.